Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Jamila Jamil and boyfriend James Blake looked happier than ever as they enjoyed a loved update on day one of the Wimbledon Championships 2024 on Monday. The actress and TV presenter, 38, and the musician, 35, cozied up at the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club in southwest London, just hours after James Glastonbury headlines set on the Woodsy stage on Sunday evening. Enjoying the first day of the tennis tournament, Jamila looked stylish in a navy midi dress with a white trim bow V neckline and a matching band around the waist. The activist wore a pair of eye-catching round sunglasses and opted for a pair of white-heeled slingback shoes for the day. James cut a smart figure in a beige suit, which he teamed with a matching t-shirt, trainers, and a crossbody bag, a far cry from the usual Glastonbury attire on Worthy Farm. The couple seemed in good spirits as they held hands and posed for pictures at the event, which will no doubt hold special memories for them after they went public with their romance at Wimbledon back in 2015. The night before, James took to the stage to perform to festival goers at Worthy Farm and brought out a surprise guest. James shocked the jammed crowd by bringing out British rapper Dave to perform their hit 2021 track, Both Sides of a Smile. Earlier this year, Jamila gave a rare insight into her life with James in a hilarious Life in the Day feature in the Sunday Times magazine. The presenter gave a detailed insight into her daily routine which includes lots of cake, coffee, and gossip, and ending the day clinging to James's bum. Jamila lives in Los Angeles with James, two flatmates, and two dogs, Barold and Winnie. Explaining how she starts her day, Jamila wrote, I wake up at 8 a.m., James makes the coffee and we sit in bed and gossip. My day has to start with laughter, coffee, and cake. As someone who had anorexia for 20 years, my first thought used to be, don't eat any cake today. It's liberating to now look forward to it. Our flatmates, two boys I met when I was 19, might join us. It's not sh asterisk 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 ing, just to make that clear. Jamila revealed that she can work when she wants to and typically works from home, as she's in a position of luxury due to not having children. After work, the couple typically go on a one-hour-long walk, before James cooks them an Italian meal. She went on to say, after dinner we watch TV. I always fall asleep, then wake up, deny it, and gaslight James for half an hour. I'd rather admit to murder. In bed, he falls asleep instantly, while I lie awake wondering if I can extend the life of my dogs forever. We sleep under three weighted blankets, and I play a game on my phone to help me stop thinking about how terrible the world is. I fall asleep like a monkey on a branch, clinging to James's bum. Jamila also admitted she doesn't like attending work events due to her social anxiety, but attends most of James' gigs. Born in London, Jamila relocated to America in 2016, where she has lived ever since. She first sparked dating rumors with James after sharing a cozy snap together during her birthday celebration in February 2015. A few months after posting their first Instagram together, the couple seemingly went public with their romance as they attended the Wimbledon Tennis Championships. In 2019, several years after going public with their romance, the couple made their red carpet debut as they attended the InStyle and Warner Brothers Golden Globes after party. The pair rarely discuss each other in interviews, but James opened up about how his girlfriend inspired him to be more outspoken about his feelings with Dazed Magazine. It feels good now to just be able to tell people how I feel. I think it's because I met my girlfriend, and there was no room for pretense. She speaks her mind. It was like, tell me how you feel. Tell me what you're thinking. In my everyday life, I wasn't being encouraged to sit behind metaphor or sit behind long silences or be in a mood without explaining what it's about.